Hey, we're here as out. I'm Paul. And I'm Patrick. And tonight we're going to be doing the John Wick Chapter 3 review of the trailer. Yeah, and you know what the weird thing is? This is one of those few trailers that we knew it was coming uh, the day before, the day of. And we were so excited because we've been talking about this film for the last few months. Yeah, we really have. And it was serendipitous that it actually just came out on, on our recording day. So, timing. Timing's everything. It's like we planned it. We yeah, didn't plan it. We didn't plan it at all. So, John Wick, we, okay, I'm a big John Wick fan. He's a bigger John Wick fan. That's going to become very apparent. But we both love it for the same reasons. And you regularly use it as a reference for the perfect sequel. Yeah, yeah, I know I do. Now we have to be ready for the perfect threequel or extra sequel, the third installment, whatever way you want to put it. Yeah, like, um, well, they, they've said that they, as long as people will go to these movies, they're probably going to keep uh, making them. So it's kind of like this might be the end to this chapter, like as in this story arc <laughs> yeah. for John Wick. But it might not be the end for John Wick or it might not be the end for the world itself. Yeah. Yeah. So they could follow someone else or something. I could see the hotel becoming a the continental, the continental yeah. becoming a thing. Yeah, which so, I would like. I would go and see. Make it. So we breaking. We're we're gonna have a look at, or we're gonna talk about the the trader a bit. Mm. Um, so it's uh, give yeah. Give us. Can you get me and everybody out there up to speed on where we are in John Wick's John Wick's chronology right right now? So where okay. did we leave him off? So we left him off after he killed Vigo, um, the head of one of the or the chair of one of the uh, members of the high table. Um, so he has been excommunicated by the Continental which means that he can no longer use any of the services linked to the Continental um, Hotels. Um, he has been given one hour. He is he was last seen running in Central Park. Nice. Um, so he's got currently one hour to get, get, some, get somewhere. Get away-ish, yeah, and which then, he knows isn't an option. Yeah. Excommunicated and, not only means that he no longer has the services, but it also means that um, any sanctioned assassins, even if they're not registered with the High Tower, can kill him and claim the bounty. And for anybody who hasn't seen either film, you should. And the idea of that we're going to refer to the Continental or the Hotel or things like that, or sometimes coins, they built up a fantastic world in, in the first two movies of uh, assassins having this underground um society and club well it's, it's more than just assassins but as part of this underworld there is an assassin level i guess is the way to put it yeah and they have certain amenities the hotel being one of them where you can go and not get knocked off you know it's, it's yeah. clubhouse for those people um and the high table um the the high table are the 12 seats of the uh, crime bo major crime bosses in the world so yeah. they each control different territories within the world so yeah so you, they're they're the illuminati for bad guys yeah essentially but they're they're so in the first one they're not really introduced it's more mm. just um john Wick's story and then the coins and the continental a little bit and then in the second one they expand on the high tower yeah. continental services which includes like you know weapons and uh suits that are bulletproof yeah, which, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go with and say, let's not question it, because the films are so slick and stylish, I can do with a bulletproof suit. Yeah, they're really it, good. It, it looks well. So, now everybody's up to speed, on to the trailer. I'm going to give you my impression first, because I actually saw it after Paul, I only just saw it a few minutes ago. I'm excited. I was excited anyway, but I'm not confused. I'm no wiser than I was if you know what I mean, it the trailer sets up that they're, you know, the situation he's in again and that people are going to come for John Wick, which is where John Wick was at. People are coming for him. Yeah. People are pretty much always coming for John Wick or he's coming for them, which is their bad luck. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. It was a perfect trailer for me in that respect. I know there'll be a, another trailer, there'll be trailer three or trailer two. And that's going to tell us more about the plot or give away some story or be the emotion trailer. This one, as you put it, is the action trailer, and yeah. I think it it means or it showed me the John Wick action is still awesome. Yeah, no, it really did. Um, so, what did you think? Like, and I think it's it's more important because I was I was going to stay on the John Wick train anyway. I don't think a trailer could have broken for me. I don't think a trailer could break it for you. But were you disappointed? No, I wasn't. It's it's an action trailer. It's still the same stylized stuff. It's got parts in there that have made me more interested in kind of where it's going. I don't think it's going to build too much onto the world that they've already built. It might give you a little bit more explanation about the high tower or the high chair table mm. and um, the people underneath it. Well, they've, they've got to round that out, I suppose, because now they've, you know, they brought it up. 
Then they built it up in the second one. Now they've got to maybe explore it if he's going to be bringing it down. Which, yeah. in essence, is maybe John Wick's only way out is to either appease them or bring them down. And he's not necessarily the appeasing kind of guy. Well, so... Um... Watching the trailer, we got a couple of kind of hints. Uh, first of all, he's getting repaired or repaired, <laughs> a, uh, getting healed by a doctor, which is and he's counting down, which is obviously that he found a doctor to heal his or help his wounds from the second movie, and he's counting down to the end of his uh, or to the to, to the, count down to the to the start of the hunt, basically yeah. for him. So we got a little bit of that. So it's going to lead on pretty quickly from the second movie. We also got a. Um, uh, Halle Berry's in the trailer. Yeah, actually, I I I'd for, I only just saw the trailer and I'd already forgotten. That's actually something that we have to bring up because she's playing what is obviously another assassin. I'm assuming, yeah. but also maybe ex friend, maybe ex love interest, maybe yeah. ex girlfriend. So there could be a bit of fun backstory there for John Wick. Yeah, as in we we know his history uh, relatively around when he meets Helen, his wife, mm. and she passes away. Um, so we don't know uh, John Wick before he meets Helen and becomes the John Wick we know. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see because he's meant to be essentially a mo- like an absolute monster. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, what. So, well, he's, he's proven as himself, but as in before he meets Helen, supposedly he was worse. Yeah, so if she softened him and everybody still refers to him as, what did the Russian guy call him, Bobby Yeager? Yeah, as a, your man said Bobby Yeager, and then he goes, that's not really right, it's hit. you sent John Wick to kill the boogeyman, because Bobby Yeager is the, He's the boogeyman. So that's, there's the level of uh, hard ass we're talking about. Um, I the, the other part of the trailer that kind of uh, struck me was, it's obvious that there's going to be a bit of travel in this. Yes. It, it's definitely multi-location. Whereas, to be fair, the first film, very contained. It was um, in New York. Second film, travels a little bit further, but still within the, the five boroughs, really, I think. Uh, I don't Rome. Think... Oh, sh- oh, It goes yeah. to Rome. I completely forgot. Yeah, it does. Uh, this one seems like it might go to Asia. So mm. it could be... The idea that I have is that he has a friend of... He, he knows one of the high table, who is the Asian member. Ah, uh, So yeah. he might be travelling to Asia to talk to them. But he's taught... He's, helped or asked Halle Berry's character to help him essentially get there yeah. I guess. Makes sense and uh, the the shot that stuck in my head was him walking up the side of a dune A dune. yeah that's the other um, one. So I, I like the idea I'm, I'm not usually into okay it's a, another sequel or a th- part 3 or part 4 let's go bigger let's go wilder I think it makes sense uh, considering the, his, his foe in this case is an organisation that runs the world yeah, very much a good reason for him to be traveling around, yeah, messing people up in different locations. Yeah, very much so. So uh, the other thing is that you get to see the Continental and also um, uh, Lawrence Fishburne's character. Mm. Now Lawrence Fishburne's character is the ones that are the homeless guys, and they have said that there's a war coming with the High Table. So this could be the fact that Lawrence Fishburne knew that eventually his organization would have to fight the high table or something like along those lines so we might find that john wick is not is being used as well by other organizations to essentially subsede or you know dethrone yeah. the high table so like yeah there's there, i've got there three. could be crossing and double crossing going on here yeah. yeah so like i don't think the continental will be the ones that will be crossing I think they'll be eventually the peacekeepers. So if John Wick is to kill the high ca- uh, high table, the Continental might take control. They'll they'll kind of stick a, to their peacekeeping rule. You think? Yeah, like as in they're but, a safe haven. Then they're a Switzerland, let's say, but then they're the caretaker yeah. of whatever the previous structure was. Yeah. So you might find that they'll they'll instigate some kind of like uh, peacekeeping like event or something after John Wick may murder the high ca- or high table. He was in High Castle. The man in the high castle yeah. was going through your head, yeah. Um, but Lars Fishman's character might try to take control of the high table. Mm-hmm. Whereas John Wick, there's also a possibility that the only way that he can get peace is for him to become the head of the high table, which will be an interesting um, kind of ending to that story as well. I don't think it will, but it's an interesting theory that could happen. I think it'd be awesome if they did go that way because it would be a real good turnaround in the white knight to the, oh God, everybody, you know, your heroes fall eventually. Yeah, the uh, the Harvey Dent, exactly, you know, kind of thing. 
So um, yeah, tell us what you think. Do you think Lawrence Fishburne's aiming to get the to you know the throne? Is the Continental making a move? Is John Wick making a move? Who knows? You know, is is Keanu Reeves going to have to start selling suits after this because he looks damn good in them all the time? Oh, man. So John Wick, awesome movie. We both love it, or we both love the first two movies. This trailer has got us both pretty jazzed. Keanu Reeves can do no wrong. Um, he's he's on a he's found a real rhythm for himself. It'd be uh, it'd be great if this goes well and we do get more from the universe. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. So uh, don't forget to get back to us. Tell us what you thought of the trailer. Tell us what you think of John Wick. If you haven't seen the first two, uh, maybe check them out and uh, feel free to drop us a thanks for putting you onto something good. And also, sorry for like you know the entire story explained for in the first couple of minutes of this thing. <laughs> no, that was I, I asked. That was my fault. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all of the YouTube things, uh, especially commenting, and we'll see you next time. Uh, I've been Paul. I've been Patrick. And we've been Heroes, Heroes Out. Out. Synchronized endings suck. It's weird. <laughs>